All right, we can probably kick things off and people can just slowly keep joining. Um, so over to you, uh, Rob Wilcox. Cool. Yeah, welcome everybody. Um, really appreciate your time today. It's great to see everybody here from around the country. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of Smart Life Limited and Smart Life Labs. Quick introduction to the Smart Life group. Smart Life Labs has developed the Smart Life Connect app, web app and controller, and is focused on selling this internationally for the smart home and commercial automation, also smart care and energy solutions. Um, smart Life Limited is the Smart Life New Zealand distributor and is setting up branches and technology showrooms nationwide. We currently have branches in Wangarei, Auckland, Times 3, Tauranga, Palmerston North, and we're opening in Wellington, Nelson, Queenstown in the coming months. Our vision is to bring simple and accessible technology to every Kiwi home and business. To achieve this, we need you to become our partner. We partner with electricians, security installers, and other companies in the industry to deliver a wide variety of integrated solutions. And we really hope you can join us on this exciting journey. Awesome, thanks Rob. And uh, welcome everyone. We've still got a few people dribbling in, but um, you know, thanks for everyone for coming. Um, happy lockdown. Um, hopefully everyone's sort of safe at home and um, you know, not sick of their family already. Um, we're going to run through a webinar pretty quick today uh, and just dive into a few different topics, uh, bits and pieces about us. Um, you know, thanks uh, everyone for being here. Um, if they're in the chat, um, you'll be able to download our app um, so you can have a play with it um, and feel free to put any questions in the chat, which we'll attend to at the end uh, with a bit of a Q&A. Uh, a bit about our experience. Um, uh, we've worked with, uh, been doing home automation for years now. We've got packages for everyday homes, uh, sort of uh, entry solutions to full uh, spectrum solutions. Uh, we've done high-end golf club resorts, um, uh, commercial solutions, mega mansions, super yachts, um, everything. Some of our partners already include electricians, architects, smart home integrators, and other um, companies, and we're looking for more. Uh, we've got our Smart Life mobile app. Um, which is what we use to control everything, um, bringing in a bunch of different uh, other products into that, which you'll see more about today. What is a smart home? Um, you know, it's automation's been around for a while. Uh, the definition of a smart home is, is sort of hard to pin down, but basically residents, residential or commercial or otherwise, it's equipped with devices that talk to each other, automate tasks, uh, automate tasks um, that are usually done manually. We've sort of broken it down into these five segments uh, to make it a bit easier, um, and we'll go from there. Um, just uh, welcome everyone. Looks like everyone's admitted now. Um, I'm the National Sales Director for Smart Life. I've been working in the company for two years now, um, and uh, we're based in the Auckland region. Um, as Rob mentioned before, uh, for those of you who missed it, we've got branches around the country in Auckland, Tauranga, and more opening um, in the coming months. The Smart Life Solutions, um, we've sort of got the Smart Life Solutions part of our company and then the Smart Life Custom. Um, so solutions are more sort of uh, ready to go, pre-programmed, they're modular, they're budget friendly. Um, they're not as flexible as the more custom stuff, but, but what it means is a lot more people can afford it. Um, historically, automation has been really expensive um, for people to get into. Um, so that's what we've, um, that's where we're aiming to, to sort of solve that problem with our more affordable packages. It's not to say we don't still do the custom side of things. Uh, there is still a big need for that. And um, some of you will have customers or have been exposed uh, to those sort of jobs. But what we're aiming to do is bring that high-end automation um, to the masses or that, that ability uh, to everyone. Um, just briefly running through this, as you'll see, Chris will go into more on the technical side of things shortly. Um, you know, there's a security aspect, which everyone who's got a house is going to be looking to security, unless um, for the, those of you in the South Island, I understand a lot of people don't do alarms down there. Um, up here in the big smoke, it's a pretty important thing. Um, and everyone who's building a house, whether it's uh, a new build, a reno, a retrofit, that's always the entry point. So when you're talking to your customers, it's always the easiest way to get in um, to discussing a smart home and what the benefits are. Uh, people who have an alarm, you know, there's no point having an alarm, first of all, if you don't know whether it's going off or not. Um, a lot of people don't even set the alarm because they're worried about it just pissing off the neighbours. Um, so with a smart system or remotely accessed system, um, you're going to alert 
that your alarm has gone off. Um, and that's how you tie in the next bit, which is cameras. Um, so with, with the um, alarm and cameras on one app, you can get the alert, your alarm's gone off, check your cameras, see if everything's all right or not, um, and then act appropriately. Thereby, um, you know, you're not paying for a monitoring company as well, which could be sort of hundreds of dollars a month. Uh, smoke and heat detection. So again, linking your smoke alarms and heat, heat detectors to your um, smart system. Um, and then going another step further, if you've, you've got a smart system linked to your smart lighting, um, if the smoke or um, burglar alarm goes off, then all the lights in the house can come on. Um, and then that's uh, another great feature that people can relate to uh, when you're talking to them about it. Uh, access. So um, again, uh, tying in after we've talked about alarm, about your cameras, um, being able to remotely control your gates, garages, and door locks. Um, you know, a lot now we're getting um, buying things online. Um, there's a big market in the sort of ring video intercom market, um, but it's the step further is tying it into your access control. So your door locks, your gates, your garages. Um, and then other side of things is having another camera with a view of that gate or that garage. So you can talk to the person um, and then say, you yeah, look, I'm going to open the garage um, and watch while you put the package in and then shut it behind you. Um, so being able to integrate those views into one screen, which you'll see later when we show you the demos, uh, is really powerful. Uh, so a view of the garage while you're operating it um, is something that people really connect with. Uh, obviously, being able to share or remove access via an app. Um, so rather than leaving out a key or giving out codes, um, you can simply share access either to the app itself or simply pushing open. Um, within our Smart Life app, you can share access and remove it really easily. There's all the op also the option for cleaner mode, for example. So uh, a cleaner might have, um, you know, only access to the app between the hours of 10 and 12 on a Tuesday. Uh, media and entertainment is normally the next step. Obviously, smart TVs are um, really common these days and probably the, the, one of the two uh, smart things that everyone has in their home. Um, but uh, the problem is they've got small speakers, so that's where you link in the multi-room audio and in-ceiling speakers and things like that. Environment control, so your smart lighting. There are numerous ways to control smart lighting these days. Um, Chris will go deeper in this, but the, what we want to get across here is that we've developed a solution that can talk to all those different lighting control solutions. Um, so that, that's what makes our, our product very powerful. Obviously, heating and cooling, um, your blinds and your curtains, uh, and then going a bit more into your custom side of things as your underfloor heating tail rails, irrigation pools, um, things like that. And then obviously that could be a lot of control panels and switches. Um, so in your sort of standard house, you could end up with your light switch, your HVAC, blind controller, gate controller, alarm. Um, we're trying to reduce that wall acne, um, whether it's a, a sort of a single iPad or touchscreen or just the app control and no switches at all, or something like this, which is sort of a, a KNX um, style solution. Um, one of the big things we can do is the modes. So you might have your alarm panel. Um, as soon as you hit that arm button, arm button as you're leaving the house, that's going to switch off your lights. It's going to switch off your aircon. It's going to close your blinds. It's going to kill your TV. It's kill your audio. So one button push, uh, not even on your phone, just on the alarm panel, and it's going to shut down the whole house. You know, away mode. Really powerful stuff um, that really resonates with people when you show it to them. Uh, so use cases, just quickly, um, you know, these, all these things we're talking about, good for new build, good for renovation, good for retrofit. Um, new build, some people can afford it, are happy to spend the money, you know, hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands. Um, obviously, with building costs now, it's getting squeezed and squeezed. But the renovation and retrofit market, people who are doing that, um, the renovation market, they've got money to spend. They want to put this stuff in. They've been living in their house. So they know what's missing. Um, so they're often really keen to tie smart features in. Uh, retrofit, uh, the most common sort of say you're going to get there is with security uh, features. Obviously, commercial, um, the, uh, the use cases are around security, integrated lighting, um, and energy management. We also uh, cater to solar EV and um, smart life care. Um, quickly, the benefits. 
So simplifying your life, automating those repetitive tasks, um, you know, creating those modes, which I touched on, away mode, home mode, movie mode, uh, eco mode, um, you know, that's all those sort of things, you know, your whole ecosystem of smart products all working um, to, to suit your, your lifestyle. Security, peace of mind, the future proof proofing um, element, um, all of it heading towards increasing value of your property um, and, you know, saving energy, uh, which is a big, big concern for everyone these days. Um, and obviously with saving energy comes saving money. What sets us apart? So there's so many things out there. Everything has its own app these days. Um, a lot of you may be DIYs. You, you'll find out you end up with like 10, 20 apps on your phone uh, to control your home. Um, so that's what we're trying to do is bring everything into that one umbrella um, and make it really powerful. This, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of same as people used to have those massive key rings full of keys. Um, you know, you just don't do that anymore. Um, so your apps, uh, we're tying it into one, one control solution. Um, and again, a bit more about us before I pass over. Um, we're obviously a Kiwi company. Um, we've got a Kiwi R&D team. Our control system is all done here in New Zealand. Um, so everything, any changes or fixes we need to make is done really quickly. Um, as, as Rob said, we've got branches opening our showrooms, interactive showrooms where people can come in and play with this stuff. Um, and um, you know, we welcome you if you're in any of those centers to come in, um, drop us a line and come check them out for yourselves. Um, but thanks everyone for that. I'm now going to pass over to Chris. Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for taking time out. Um, I'm Chris, the training manager for Smart Life Academy. So I basically deal with the training for the organization. And so today, hopefully, guys, I can just lay a platform for you, just a bit of a bit of a better understanding. If you're working in the in in the world of um, smart homes or anything to do with control and automation, generally you would notice that conventionally most houses had a combination of security, um, aircon, cameras, lights. Can you see that mouse, guys? I'm sharing the screen now, Chris, so I'll be your... Okay, help. if you can, yeah. So if you can just go back to that slide, Julian, sorry. So if you look at that slide, ba a basic house generally would have all been hardwired stuff. We would have had RP cameras, alarms, garage door control, and all of that. Now in the new world, we have the internet of things on the left-hand side, you'll see devices like Zigbee, Bluetooth, uh, Z-Wave, and Wi-Fi. Now, the challenge is to try and bring these two worlds together under one control system. And that's currently what everyone's really trying to do. And that's really what we as a company are trying to, you know, push into the market is that we we found a way of actually bringing these two worlds together to give you a control system that one app would actually con control these two different worlds. And that's kind of what we're trying to share with you guys today, which we can just go to the next slide. Thanks, Julian. So if you look at this, as I say, if you look at any house that needs integration or control, these are generally the things you would find on your menu. Um, Internet of Things is a separate category normally and has to normally be controlled by its own apps. But we are now able to actually bring that all in under one umbrella. So if we go to the next app. So um, if we just look at conventional control systems. Now, these are some of the, some of the, big, some of the big boys out there doing some really, really good stuff. Um, but like everything in life, there's pros and cons. And a lot of homeowners, unfortunately, can't get into this market because it's just unaffordable to them. So, um, and then, of course, at the other end of the spectrum, we have like, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll notice some of those apps, Arlo, um, cameras. The bottom one, of course, is um, PDL Iconic Waza. And then the one in the blue is Legrand. Now, those are all app-based platforms that allow you to run the Internet of Things. The problem is, how do you then control all the other hardwired things that you currently have in your house? So these, these are the challenges in the marketplace. And so what we've done as a company is we've tried to bring in these two worlds under one application. And that's kind of where we want to be a, a differentiator into the marketplace. If we can go to the next one, thanks. So if we just look at this thing called the Internet of Things, what is it? So basically, just to sum it up, 
it's really devices that sit on a network and they communicate to each other and they don't need any human intervention. They are broken up into different categories, um, but the main four categories that you will come across in the marketplace is Bluetooth, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, and Z-Wave. So let's, let's have a look at some of these things. So categories, lighting, cameras, sensors, security, access control, power, and climate. So yeah, I've just given you guys just a few options. So on the top right-hand corner there, we see a Wi-Fi based camera. So that would be enrolled in an Air app and that we would um, be enrolled under a Wi-Fi protocol. Then on the bottom left here, you see this little uh, blue mech. Now that's a lighting relay mech. It's a Bluetooth mech. Um, a, that now would be enrolled under a Bluetooth, but it would still be enrolled on the same app. In other words, we have an app called Smart Life Air, and we bring all these different devices under that one app. So if it's a Bluetooth device, we bring it in, it gets enrolled to a Bluetooth gateway. If it's a Zigbee device, like you'll see there's sensors there, uh, just underneath the RGB light, you'll see that's a water sensor. To the right of that, you'll see a temperature sensor. Now these are Zigbee sensors. And what we do to get them onto our network is we enroll them into a Zigbee gateway. And then above that, you see a glass two button switch. That is another Wi-Fi device. So there, if I need lighting, I enroll that on my Wi-Fi network. To the left of that, you see an RGB garden light, also a Wi-Fi device. So basically all these devices, we are able to enroll into one app and bring them into one platform and we're able to communicate to them in one app. And so that's the internet of things, all this wireless stuff, great for retrofitting, um, great when you can't get cables to a specific a spot, you know, a client comes and says to you, you know, I just wanna add three or four lights in this room. You can't run any cables. Here's an opportunity now to get in and actually offer a solution. So that's basically the internet of things. Um, and then, of course, just a, just a bigger overview in that category, you get smart plugs um, and you get uh, smart light bulbs and you get different types of dimmer mix. So quite a, quite a selection of stuff. So let's just quickly go back now to conventional hardwired equipment. Most of you guys that are in the game understand alarms. You guys know how to install them, how to cable for them. It's a hardwired platform. But now if, you, if you're thinking of this internet of things and you've got a app, how do I talk to my alarm in an app that was never written to talk to the alarm? So there's one of our challenges. So in our app, what we do is we actually can talk directly to the alarm. And I'm going to discuss how we're going to tie all of that in. But I just want to kind of lay this platform and then show you at the end how we kind of bring these two worlds together. So there's one of our things that we normally would have in a normal house, an alarm system. Then of course, conventionally, the client wants to open the garage door. He wants to be able to open the, the, the front gate. And that would normally be done, um, you know, when you come within a few um, meters of the house, you've got a fob and you can, you know, open it. But now what happens if you, you know, the courier guy sort of pitches up and you want him to be able to deliver a package, you know, drop a package off, you can log in, have a look, see the guy on the camera, open open your garage door from your from your app. The guy can go and put the parcel in your garage. You can see him leave and you can, of course, close. So it just gives you a lot more, um, you know, things to do away. Now, the other thing, of course, that you would find in conventional is IP cameras. And what we can do with IP cameras is we can take the streams from those IP cameras and put them into our app so we can actually view the camera's real time. So that's another area. Um, if we go to the next one, please, Julian. Another thing that's that, that's pretty big, especially um, Yale Lock. These guys seem to be doing very well in terms of market share. A lot of the bulls I go to nowadays, I see there's a lot of uh, Yale Locks being put in there. And I mean, this is a great, now this works on what we call Z-Wave, which is a slightly different protocol, but it is also part of the IoT world. And if you look at it, so he has a conventional uh, Z-Wave um, door lock, sorry, Yell door lock. If you look in the bottom left, uh, this, this modular, yeah, where, where you actually see the keypad. So if you, if you went to the left there, yeah. So now where you see this here, um, where it says Yell and you've got the little door lock, 
that module, you see the little Z wave module on the right, the green one. Now that gets paired to the stick above. So those actually talk to each other. That little green module gets inserted into the lock and you're now able to control the lock remotely. So you can go up to the lock conventionally and open it, or you can open and close that door lock from your app. So once again, you've taken a door lock and you've made it smart just by adding that Z-Wave module. Um, the same thing we have with HVAC control. Um, are we talking to air cons? Are we talking to split units? Um, you know, conventionally, you need to be in the room with an IR remote in your hand. Um, we have, we have uh, ways of doing that, and we have two different uh, brands. We have an IR way of doing that, but we also have another uh, brand where it's RP-based called Intersys, and that allows us to talk to the aircon units via the app. If we can go to the next one, Julian, thank you. And then, of course, a big one, Intercoms. Um, currently, the three brands that we work with, Kickvision, um, Doorbird, and 2N. Uh, once again, we can bring RP streams from these intercoms. However, at this point in time, we can't do integration. In other words, if I walk up to my doorbird and I ring the doorbird, I unfortunately at this point can't open it up in our app, and I'll show you the app later. Um, but I would still be able to interact with it through the doorbird app, and obviously whatever the doorbird app allows me to do, I can do. So that native integration is not there yet, but it's on our roadmap. Then of course, another popular thing is television control. When you've got TVs in the house, um, you need to obviously switch them on and off. Um, generally, what's also nice is to bring back audio from that TV. So feed that audio into your um, multi-room audio system. So rather than using the TV speakers, you can actually use the speakers that are in the room. It just gives you a much fuller sound. And then of course, and so in this slide, we're just talking about different wiring protocols to get your TV working. How do we get picture to the TV? How do we get audio and sound back from the TV? How do we get control to the TV? So all of those things are covered. And then of course, source equipment. You know, you want to talk to the Apple TV, change channels. You want to talk to the Skybox. You want to talk to the Vodafone TV. So all of that we need to be able to do in an integrated controlled house. And, and so that's just another one of the hardwired components. And of course, audio distribution. Very important. A lot of guys love to have music in their homes, different areas. And so, yeah, we um, work with a company called Axiom, also a New Zealand-based company. On the top left-hand corner there, we've just got a small little what we call a four-zone um, um, all-in-one unit. So basically, it supports four rooms. And then to the right of that, you see this uh, box called an AXM M2. Now, that's called a media manager. What that allows us to do is we can put that on the network with the Mini 4 and we can have eight audio streams available. So instead of us having to plug CD players and DVD players and source components in, we can actually just stream. So I can open up a Spotify stream or a TuneIn stream and I can actually just stream that directly to the Mini 4. Then the boy on the bottom here, this is just the bigger brother. This is called an AX1250, which is an eight zone version of that. Obviously just got more power and uh, more ins and outs, but also working in a very similar principle, just allowing more zones. Okay, and then of course, types of lighting. Um, you know, are we talking to distributed lighting like KNX? Are we talking to a Wi-Fi mech, a Z-Wave mech, a Zigbee mech, a Bluetooth mech? Is it a dimmer, is it a relay? Is it a slave or is it a master? Now, these are all the things that in the world of control and automation, we have to think about. And do we have a solution for them? And yes, we do. We have a solution that talks to all these different lighting options. If we can go to the next one, please, Julian. Thank you. And of course, networking, very important. Now, networking, we don't generally talk to the networking device, but networking, very important part of the platform because everything that we do is, is related around this because we need a good strong network. We need good wireless access points because at the end of the day, there's a lot of communication going through the house and we want to make sure that we don't cut corners and we put in a really good network, good infrastructure that when we do use our app, we get a really good user experience. So something that we have to always look at. So as I was saying to you in the beginning of the slides, how do we do this? How do we bring these two worlds of IoT, Internet of Things, and the good old hardwired world. 
So if you look at the slide, I've got apps and hubs. So currently we work with, on the left-hand side, that kind of teardrop, that's called the Smart Life Air app. Now, what we do in that app is we enroll all our devices, Internet of Things, so our Wi-Fi devices, our Zigbee gateway and our Zigbee devices, our Bluetooth gateway and our Bluetooth devices. Now, that's a standalone app. We can control the stuff in that app. Um, if we're not taking it any to any other level, we could just use that app. But the beauty of that now is we now have our own in-house built app called the Smart Life Connect app. And what that allows us to do, it allows us to import that app into the Connect app and we can still control those devices, but we now control it with the Connect app. And then, of course, the question would be, well, Chris, what about the IP cameras? What about the alarm? What about the aircon? Because remember now, as I said to you previously, the problem that we have with the Air app is the Air app was never designed to talk to all these hardwired devices. And that's where our hub would come in. So the little box in the bottom you see is our hub and that's our controller. And so what we would do is we would do conventional control. Like for instance, we want to do infrared. We want to switch the TV on and off. So out of, out of the, the box there, we would plug in an IR emitter um, in the bottom there. And that would be a cable going off to one of the TVs. And from there, we could send a command to the TV, go on, go off, or you're a smart TV, I can control you. Um, the same thing with garage door, we could open a garage door directly from, from, from the unit, it's just sending a relay. We can um, talk to our alarm, you know, we can get information from the alarm, we can arm the alarm, we can disarm the alarm, we can get what zone has been triggered. So all we're doing now is we're using this box as an interface to all our hardwired devices. And that way we bring in those in. And so now we have the air devices, the hardwired devices, and all of those are available and controllable under one app called the Smart Life Connect app. And that's how we are trying to bring this to the market and also trying to cater for the guys that don't want to be in DIY where you've got multiple apps but also at the same time, unfortunately, can't afford the, the expensive automation products. And so this is kind of looking for those guys and saying, you know what, guys, there's actually an opportunity for you guys to actually get into this market, which before was not really available. You either had to be on one side or the other side of the pendulum. Now you kind of can be in the middle. That's kind of what I would, yeah, just wanted to talk to you guys. So thank you very much for attending today, guys. Yeah. Right, awesome. Thanks very much, Chris. Um, sure. As you can see, um, he is uh, very passionate about the technology and he's very knowledgeable. Um, and obviously, that was a quick skim through of a lot of the technical stuff. Um, in our training days that we're going to be running um, in the coming weeks, um, dives into a lot more detail exactly how we do things. Um, and also run through our Connect Web app. So, how we're bringing all those products into one place and how we're creating the app and the user view um, for the customer. Um, now we're moving on to Brett, um, who is our um, Delight Design Solutions expert, and he's gonna be showing you a taster on our quoting tool. Um, over to you, Brett. Hey, thanks very much, Julian. Uh, as you said, my name is Brett. I'm gonna jump right in and <clears throat> I've got no slides, so I'm gonna jump straight into um, uh, a couple of tools that we will be using to help you move forward in your journey. Um, uh, this is what uh, we're using for doing uh, quoting. Uh, it's called Quoter. And this is a tool that um, when you uh, sign up to be a partner, you'll be able to uh, have access to all the products that we uh, offer um, and uh, generate quotes for uh, automation solutions that are uh, based off of templates that we can provide. Now, when you're generating a quote through Quoter, uh, we can also set you up to have your own logo appear on the quote. So it's fully self-contained by your own company, uh, but you can draw from our inventory uh, of, of uh, items and uh, use these templates to uh, present a, it actually kicks out a beautiful quote, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so this is uh, basically the front end of Quoter. Um, 
and it's got this great little dashboard to give you an idea of how your sales are going. Um, it's going to show you all your recent quotes and what status they are. This is a whole bunch of test data that we've got in here, obviously. Um, but from here, we can uh, view uh, all the quotes that you've put out um, and uh, resend or, or drop comments on or view. Um, uh, people, we, uh, when you uh, create a quote, it's going to add it to this list. Um, and we have a list of all our items. Now, templates, that's what I'm going to show you in a second. It's really quite a, a beautiful output from this application. Um, so when you click on a new quote here, uh, you have a list of all the templates that we are providing. Um, this is a great way to uh, generate a, a, a quote that has everything that somebody might want. Uh, and then you can just pick and choose the things that they've decided on. Uh, I'll jump right into something like a residential solution here. And um, so from here, you can uh, add a cover page. We've obviously dropped in a default one, um, and you can use that um, or go in and edit it yourself. Make your own wording here. Again, this is just a, a template with defaults. They're all modifiable. Um, you can add a cover letter. This is blank because we're not using one. Um, uh, and then, of course, this is where the uh, details of the customers go. Um, but then we've also added all of the line items. These are the uh, products that are specific to a residential solution. Um, we have different products for each of the solutions. And the way you would get it to display is just select the quantity of the items that you're wanting to include on the quote. Um, let's say it's for a security system and you've got a transformer and an output module. Um, I'm just going to randomly choose some products here so that I can show it to you. Uh, We've got smart cameras. Let's say I want this kit and I want a, um, a NVR. Um, and then let's drop down and then maybe they want a lock. So we're going to choose that. And of course, uh, when one product requires others, like this Yale lock requires that a, a, a Z Wave network module and a Z Wave interface uh, is included. So we've got here as well. So you can include that. Um, now, once I put in somebody's name, let's in this case, we're just going to jump straight into like a test user. Um, I'll select that person. There's some required fields here for us to move forward. Uh, then I can click preview quote. And you'll be able to see actually what the quote looks like. Uh, this is kind of what the customer will see. There's it, uh, your company logo would appear up here. Uh, in this case, since I'm running it through Smart Life, but it would, it would, when, uh, when you sign up as a partner, uh, I'll get you to send me your company logo as an image, and I can add that to the template uh, so that whenever you create one, it drops your, uh, your company logo up there. Uh, and then uh, this is all those that header information that's completely uh, customizable. Um, then they, uh, you know, who it's to and from. Um, then you get some goodies here, and then it gives you all the images and prices for each of the products that, that you're quoting. Um, now, when you send this, oh, also it gives you a little breakdown of each of the categories for the customers so they can see what, uh, you know, what the cameras uh, add up to, you know, what, they add, what the door lock adds up to. When you send this to a customer, uh, they uh, receive an email with a link. They click on the link and uh, they pretty much view something very similar to what you're looking at here. Uh, and then they have the option to accept the quote or not. Hopefully, it, yes. Um, when they accept the quote, um, it kicks an email off to you or whoever you designate uh, and uh, uh, indicates that, the, that, that an order has been placed. Um, so this basically is what happens. It goes through its own life cycle. I'm not going to go into a full training on the on quota here, but what you end up with is what I was showing before is a list of all your published quotes. Uh, and at any point, you can slice and dice these and sort them and export to CSV, that kind of thing. If you wanted to go back and look at a previous test, you know, you know feel free to click here. If you wanted to share it, um, when I click on Open Web View, this is exactly what the uh, customer would see. Um, they get this. They and they, you know, it gets their logo at the top. Um, 
they can click accept quote and, uh, and view all the products that are that are in the quote. I'm going to close out that. Of course, you can send it to them again if you need to. You just click on the mail button here and kick it off or share it with other people if you need to uh, share that. Um, there's also an approval process. So built in, if uh, there's a certain level of approval or certain customers or certain products that you don't want a quote to go to directly, you want you know a second set of eyes to look at, then uh, you, we can set up a uh, approval uh, process. So it'll go to that person first to approve it, and then it goes out to the customer. Uh, we can also generate reports and all that kind of good stuff uh, from this that we can share to you. Um, it's very easy to export the data into CSV as well if you need to pull it into another system. Uh, also, we can set up a payment gateway so that uh, actually it's quite clever so that when they click accept quote, it will take them to a, uh, a payment gateway and can interface directly with credit cards or with zero um, to place the order and, and collect the money through there. Uh, so that's the quick and dirty version, uh, not so dirty, but the very fast uh, version of Quoter. Uh, it's a great tool. It's fast, and um, you'll get this when you sign up to be a partner. Uh, also, we have our own Smart Life Academy, which I'll show you right here. This is uh, our training portal. So uh, we're calling Smart Life Academy. And within here, uh, you can access just a ton of, of uh, videos and content that we've been building and building and building so that uh, you can go on your own learning journey through each of these uh, different topics. And we're just add, we're adding more content uh, every week. There's more videos going up here. So uh, we can uh, also sign you up for this. And so you can enroll in courses all day long and uh, get yourself accredited. Um, and that's, that's kind of where we are. Uh, I guess it's over to Carrie or uh, Julian, unless you want to have a little uh, chat. No, thanks. Uh, cheers, Brett. Um, that's a good overview of our quoting tool and also our Smart Life Academy, um, which is available to all partners. As Brett said, ton of training material there. Um, you know, you can upskill as much as you need to. Um, as well as that, we've got a bunch of technicians on the ground that are working one-on-one -on -one, uh, to help with you on your partner journey. Um, oh, wow. right. Okay, um, as Brett sort of mentioned, we're going to pass on to Kerry now, who is our uh, VP of Corporate Partnerships, um, and he'll be able to tell you a little bit more about um, the journey itself. Over to you, Kerry. Uh, thanks, Julian. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see my image there at the moment, but um, I'm coming to you from my wine cellar. Uh, which is why I'm sort of a wee bit blacked out there. <laughs> Got to keep the atmosphere going right. I think this is probably where a lot of people are spending their time during lockdown as well. Uh, let me just uh, share my screen with you if technology doesn't fail me. And uh, we'll rip through this because I am very aware that I'm probably the only thing standing between you and your lunch at the moment. Uh, can you see my screen? I'm going to take that as a yes, great. Uh, I'm quickly going to run through what we will be offering um, as a startup partner training day. Uh, we will also be offering this day via Zoom, so it will enable you and all your staff to use uh, your lockdown time productively. Um, a key outcome of that, uh, of that training day will that you will leave fully equipped to start earning extra revenue straight away as a Smart Life referrer partner. Um, so basically, you'll have the opportunity to make your customers happy uh, without you having to learn any new skills or without any ongoing costs to you. Uh, we'll do all the heavy, list, all the heavy lifting, uh, right from scoping out the project with your customers uh, through to the full delivery of the project itself. You just need to refer the customers to us, uh, sit back and take a 5% rebate. So in addition, uh, that training will include a full demonstration of the Smart, smart Life Home technology, Smart Home technology, uh, an introduction to the Smart Life Connect technology platform that Chris referred to earlier. Um, and of course, that'll enable you to discuss uh, the Smart Home solutions with confidence with your customers. Uh, you'll get an introduction to the Smart Life quoting tools, uh, 
that Brett just went through. Um, and as Brett mentioned, you can add your own company logo to that. Uh, we'll give you a picture price list so you can discuss the full range of solutions with your customers. Um, also get uh, an overview of uh, the extensive Smart Life Training Academy that, uh, that, that Brett referred to. Uh, so that was the online version. We'll be also be having some in-house uh, specialized training modules as well um, that we'll provide more details on in due course. Right, just um, in terms of uh, investment around that, uh, or your investment for that training day is uh, $99. Um, and we can do all that training, as I mentioned before, virtually. So you and all your staff can make productive use of, uh, of your lockdown time. Uh, so just let us know. Uh, you could even go into the chat function if you wanted to, uh, if you're interested in uh, enrolling for that course or hearing more about it. Um, and we'll also take the opportunity to give you a quick call after this um, to get your feedback on this webinar and, um, and enroll in that course if you want to. Okay, so uh, thanks, Gary. I'll just um, add to that. Um, where it's, it's an interactive day, uh, so usually we've been, we've been running it in our um, training centre in Albany, um, and with Chris, and it's very interactive. A lot of hands-on playing with equipment. So we'll be modifying it so that it works in a virtual scenario um, uh, as well. So, yeah, thanks, Gary. Thanks, Jim. Um, looking to the future as well. Uh, the, this, I guess, is the beginning of your journey as a Spartan Life partner. Uh, partner. Um, so in the future, there's uh, the option to continue the journey by becoming an accredited uh, partner, um, and that will allow you to significantly increase your revenue generation uh, over and above uh, just getting a referral rebate. So moving to uh, options of certified installer, so you learn how to install and enroll um, the smart version of the products that you're already installing. Uh, you can buy from us at that, at that time at trade price, but we will still provide uh, all the support that you need. Uh, you can move on to be a full margin smart life solution reseller, uh, learn how to configure and install and, and roll the products uh, that make up our smart life solutions for new build, commercial, resident, residential, uh, aged care and more. Uh, expand your offering uh, on the journey as well to offer smart life custom solutions your advanced courses on KNX, uh, networking, home theatres, uh, multi-room audio, videos, the whole lot. Um, we'll take you through at that stage uh, a return on investment uh, profit estimate. Uh, so you can look at uh, the level that you want to come into according to the size of your operation and the level of uh, training and expertise that you want to develop with us. Uh, and of course, as you continue along that journey, you get higher levels of access to our um, Smart Life platform, where that platform um, and driving extra revenue streams. Um, so that was just a very brief overview of what's available on that day. Uh, uh, the delegates that we've had through so far have found it to be uh, extremely valuable. Um, and without exception, they have all um, wanted to become a, a more engaged partner with us. So. Um, I can highly commend it. Uh, the next um, course that we're going to run uh, virtually will be on Tuesday, the 24th of August. Um, so as I say, if you're interested in enrolling that, uh, just give us an indication on the chat function uh, or we will follow, you, follow up with a phone call to you after this WebEx. So thank you very much for taking the time uh, to join us. A uh, few teething problems for our, our first webinar. Um, uh, but hopefully you got out of it what you wanted. Um, but I'd now like to open up the floor for anybody to ask any questions that they might have um, and hand back to Julian to facilitate that session. Great. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, Kerry. Thanks for that um, overview. And as Kerry said, thank you all for, for joining us today. Um, you know, we sort of threw it together um, after we got a few people reaching out and saying they'd like to learn more. Um, so we, we put it together for today and we'll be, um, we'll be running it again uh, for anyone who missed out next week. Um, obviously, uh, as you mentioned, the partner training day is coming up, but um, please feel free to 
unmute yourselves and um, ask any questions, or if you prefer, uh, type in the chat box and uh, we can um, answer them for you. But thanks all. Okay, so we've got a couple coming through. Uh, do we have a list of partners in the Southland area? Um, with regards to the South Island, yes, we have got um, some activity there. Perhaps if it's okay, I'll give you a call afterwards and um, um, talk to you a bit, a bit more about that. Um, the Snyder Wise Hub, yes, it can connect to the Smart Life. There is um, the Zigbee enabled mix, uh, definitely def Zigbee preferred. There seems to be two models. The Zigbee preferred model is definitely a go. Um, you don't need to use the their hub. Um, you can use our better priced hub, Zigbee Gateway, sorry, to, to enroll them. But yes, the Zigbee, the new wiser, um, uh, what are they calling it? The Zigbee preferred version is definitely compatible um, with the uh, with our overall system. Yeah, so any, I think any of those Zigbee products that are used in the Wiser platform um, can be integrated into our Zigbee gateway, which then works into our app. So any limitations they have around um, security or alarms or things, um, we cover that with uh, integrating into those other uh, products that we mentioned. So just um, back on the pricing, I just wanted to add to that, that um, that's just an optional add-on. So, um, you know, we can, we do provide normal price lists and um, CSV files that you can import into your own system. Um, the purpose of that quota is just to uh, provide a, an easy way for you to be able to quote up particularly those solutions without having to undertake a lot of, um, uh, you know, adding, adding products, et cetera, into your own uh, system. So just a purely an add-on option there. Great. Uh, question there on KNX and dimming of DALI lights. Um, correct. There's a, a, a module, a, a direct a module that connects from KNX to DALI, um, which can dim the lights. Um, anyone else correct me if I'm wrong there, but I believe that's the answer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we have got an integration to KNX. At this stage, it's a case of exporting the ETS file, and we can then um, bring all that into the Connect product. Um, we are adding direct um, web app additional so you can fully operate it through the web app um, shortly and um, but yes full compatibility with KNX solutions. Right um, so just you would have seen in the chat guys you can download the Smart Life Connect app from either the uh, Android store or the Apple store um, and it comes with a demo mode um, so you can have a play um, have a look at how it works um, and see the different sort of um, you know controls that you might have in there. So the the ability the option to download that app is available off our website smartlife.nz. Um, perhaps the other thing I think we didn't cover fully is that with the solutions we've got the new build solutions. There's also boardroom solutions care solutions for aged care, living at home. Um, the app can be white labeled. So if you've got um, large corporate customers that want to have a white labeled solution, we all, um, uh, if you introduce that, we will provide a, um, a rebate for those type of introductions. Um, and um, so yeah, very powerful for use in those larger solutions, apartment blocks, um, hotels, boutique accommodation, um, those type of applications is also very applicable for the solution. Perfect. Awesome. Th thanks on that, on that, Rob. That's a really good point, the, uh, that there's uh, multiple templates available for each of the different solutions. Um, like you mentioned, the boardroom and, and the, the care. And Isn't there another one coming soon for uh, dementia? Yes, that's right. Yep. Oh, look, we haven't answered the question. Oh, sorry, commands. Okay. Yeah. At the moment, Smart Life has been set up to be compatible with Alexa um, in terms of yeah. being able to control it, set it up from within the web app. Um, the sorry is something that was that's in the in the roadmap. We can in the background use the Google Google Home, but uh, sorry, not not currently, but on the roadmap. Those reaching out, um, talking about um, partners in different areas, uh, we'll, we'll contact you directly after this um, to discuss further. Um, one more question coming through there. Yes, you can buy the Schneider Weiser um, compatible um, products and switches from your wholesaler, um, and we'll still provide backup for bringing those, linking those through. 
Uh, one more question. So uh, training partnership day is planned for after Tuesday. Yes, there is. We'll be um, communicating a schedule. Perhaps we should add it to our partner page on our website as well of upcoming um, training days. But yet we'll be rolling on with this, um, particularly over the lockdown and beyond. Some of the guys are asking about the PDL um, Schneider mix. So just to give you guys some clarity. So the way it works is they um, ship from the factory in what they call a WASA mode, which is their Bluetooth mode. Unfortunately, we can't use the Bluetooth, but they do have mechs available that can be uh, switched between a Bluetooth and a Zigbee mode. So generally what we do is we specify the Zigbee option of the mech, and then what we are able to do is actually put it into that Zigbee pairing mode, and we're able then to pair it onto Zigbee gateway and talk to it. So it's not all their mechs that are Zigbee compatible. You have to get the mech that actually has the ability. Um, but yeah, so, but it is doable and we can speak to PDL Iconic with no problem. Yeah, and we'll cover all those details and more in, the, um, in, those, in those training days. Probably worthwhile we're on the topic of that, the, um, for the uh, HPM plates, um, HPM Life, there is a brilliant mech that's compatible with those. It just plugs in in a similar way. So both those two main, oh, that also works in the Vinco plates. So those are some of the main ones out there. You can just be simply plug a mech in. Um, if you, uh, we'll cover that more on the training day, but the other alternatives is the little puck that goes in behind the push mech. But um, it's great to see these days that you can get um, these nice simple mechs to plug into both the Iconic and the other plates. Okay, perfect. Well, that's um, bang on 12 o'clock, which is good. And thanks for the nice comments there, guys, as well. Um, appreciate the turnout. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, uh, great turnout. Excellent. Obviously, be in touch. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Cheers, guys. Have a good Friday. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe out there.